ஹலோ டிகேஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஆட்டோமேஷன் எட்ஜ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆர் பிஏ ஆஸ் எ சர்வீஸ் இன் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் டுடோரியல் வி ஹாவ் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு சைன் அப் இன் டு ஆட்டோமேஷன் எட்ஜ் நவ் இன் திஸ் டுடோரியல் வி வில் வாக் த்ரூ தி டேஷ்போர்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஆட்டோமேஷன் எட்ஜ் ஆல் ரைட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் லெட்ஸ் லாக் இன் இன் டு ஆட்டோமேஷன் எட்ஜ் இன் தி யூஆர்எல் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு கிவ் t4.automationedge.com and i am going to provide the username and the password to this particular user and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time and then you can log in to the dashboard of the automation edge for the first time the license status will show you when it is going to be expiring over here you can see the license expiring within 27 days after once it has been expired if you have the license to activate in that case you will go ahead and you can upload the li- subscription over here to extend your license second one agents you can see over here i am having agents 0 over here which i have subscribed currently there are no agents or robots consumed over here for the workflow or the process automation next one steps units currently there are no workflows or process steps units are consumed and no steps units are available for the work or process automation and next one process studio there you can see one out of one i have consumed all the my licenses related to the process studio all right now we'll go for the users tab over here there are two sub menus that we have one is tenant user another one is user group tenant users is used to add a new user or upload user edit and delete the users there you can see i have already added one user over here right you can see his role his name and created last updated and the status and you can see the actions also if you want to add a new user then in that case you can go on the top most and then you can click on add new and there you have to give all the details in a such a way user type ldap user ssa user you need to select from the user types and then you can give his first name last name email id username to login and the password and password to confirm and then you can give the roles over here you can see the roles over here tenant admin tenant user user admin workflow admin agent admin activity monitor these are all the roles which i have in the automation edge now we can go for the user groups tenant users can be grouped together to form the group of users these groups can be used for assigning workflow permissions an user can be present in more than one groups if you want to create a new group in that case you will click on add new and then you can give the name over here as i am going to give ae group automation edge group and then i will give the same description over here and then i am going to click on create you can see over here a new group has been created and if you want to assign any users to this you can go ahead and you can assign it all right now we'll go for the another tab that is workflows workflows are the automation process that can be invoked workflows automate real life process by automating the execution of tasks a workflow consists of steps which help in designing or customizing a workflow inside the workflows that we are having sub menus one is work list scheduler categories and credentials let me explain you one by one about these sub menus first one workflow list by using workflow list you can add a new workflow or search edit delete activate and deactivate the workflows you can see over here if you want to upload or import a new workflow in that case that you are going to use import option next one scheduler by using scheduler you can add search edit delete activate and deactivate 
Along with that, you can transfer the workflows based on the schedules. Next one, categories. By using categories, you can create workflow categories and move the workflows from one category to another category. If we want to add the category, then in that case, you're going to use the option over here, add new. As of now, I have only default category over here. Next one, credentials. By using credentials, we can create, edit, and delete credentials pools along with that credentials. And also we can move the credentials from one credentials to another credential pools. Now we'll talk about the agents. An agent is a piece of software that works on behalf of automation engine and executes workflows or acts as on the agent controller. There you can see I have already downloaded and installed one of the agent on my desktop. And there you can see I'm having AR at the rate of desktop hyphen VK double four five two one is the agent name. The current status of this agent is stop. And there you can see assigned workflows that I'm having zero. And if you want, if you have executed workflows also, you can see as zero. Now, if you want to install one of the agent on your particular laptop or your desktop or VM, in that case, you will download it first and then you will install it. In the upcoming session, I will show you how to download and install the agent on your computer. For the time being, you can see over here, I'm having agent list where you have all the list of agents that are working for the particular user that you can see all the list of agents over here. Agents provide the scalability to automation edge as an agent can be deployed on multiple machines and harnessed to processing power of multiple machines. However, each physical virtual can have one agent. In a case of Windows Server OS, each user can have one agent. All right, these are all the things which we have. One is workflow assignments, IP whitelisting, agent settings, there you can see all these things whenever you are going to work with agents. All right, now you can see over here for agent settings, whenever you have installed, you can see include GRD with agent, you have to enable it. And then you can go ahead and you can install and you can connect with your agents by using automation edge. All right, now next one is the catalog. Catalog is used for submitting workflow requests. Note that a user will see only those workflows or assisted workflows on which they have executed the permissions. Based on the permissions only, you can get all the catalogs related to the assisted workflows that you can get it over here. You can see over here, try changing the category or contact your administrator. Next one, requests. This request menu shows a list of all the submitted workflows execution requests. There you can see, I don't have any requests over here as of now because of I have just opened this automation edge dashboard. If you want to download the request, in that case, you can go ahead and you can click on this button where you can download all the requests over here. All right, next one, logs. Inside the logs, I'm having agent logs and audit logs. Let me explain you one by one about these logs. Let's click on agent logs. Agent logs contain agents or workflow execution logs as well as process studio step-by-step -step debug logs with the debug log messages. There is a workflow step in the process studio called debug logs. When a workflow request executes, it logs the debug logs variable on fields on debug log messages over here. These debug logs are present in agent logs. All right, now we'll talk about the audit logs. Audit logs are maintained for operations on entities and the source can be server, agent, or process. In Process Studio, there is an audit log plugin step through which user can be sent process audit logs, if any. In this case, audit logs will be added with the source as process. Agent log generates by server or an agent or marked with the source, server and agent respectively. 
there you can see i can see the server over here the source has server system over here all right now the next one reports reports allows you to create dashboard to add or view the reports you can see over here i'm having sub menus as dashboard data sources templates and email reports let me explain you one by one about these sub menu first one dashboard dashboard is a container for multiple reports all the related report that one wants to view together can be kept on one dashboard at least one dashboard is required to start creating the reports next one data sources these are all for the custom reports automation edge needs to connect to an external database to fetch the data for the custom reports the data source sub menu provides option to add or update or delete the data sources from where you can add the data sources there you can see i'm having add new data source over here you can have the database types over here that is postgresql ms sql and oracle by using all these data sources you can create the custom reports all right next one templates templates are defined by specifying a database query the desired attributes and the desired format for generating the reports if you want to add a new template in that case you can click on new template over here and then you can give the respective values over here all right next one email reports reports can be viewed in the dashboard and can be downloaded as pdf or comma separated files email reports menu is used to configure schedules for the reports in the pdf or csv format to be emailed as zip file to the specified email addresses as per the time zone specified this feature is available only if smtp configuration has been done for the tenant that's the reason you can see over here i can see it as smtp is not configured all right now we'll have the consumption the consumption if you see we are having the report duration in the last one month last three months last six months and the calendar if you want you can go ahead and you can select it there you can see the start date and the end date and you can select the reports over here there you can see workflow consumption report or workflow consumption report per request and then if you click on request you will get the consumptions of the automation ad you can get it all over here next one plugins plugins are managed by system administrator tenant administrator has a view only access to plugins except the options to set the plugins properties there you can see i am having all the plugins names that you can see ps underscore native surface advanced rest client and what not there you can see all the plugins over here next one purging few tables in the automation edge system get populated with a large amount of data over a period of time the records in these tables grow and need to be purged so that the system can run with the optimal performance set up a purging policy and purge schedule to purge these database tables as needed this results in reduction of database and disk space usage and in turn increase automation edge system performance there you can see i am having purge policy purge schedule archived these are all the options which we have inside the purging next one process studio automation edge process studio is one of the three major components of the automation edge platform other two beings are automation edge agent and the one automation edge server process studio is the developer studio for the automation edge it offers drag and drop capabilities that almost eliminates the need of writing a program or a script while building process studio there you can see i can download this process studio and then i can go ahead and i can create my workflows or the task over there by using process studio in the next session i will show you how to install the process studio on your computer and then you can get these kind of details over here you can see the username machine host name 
and machine user's name and the version and when I have last updated this process told you. You can see all these things in the next session. All right. Automation Edge Process Studio has a rich library of plugins to access, prepare, and blend data from di disparate data sources and enterprise applications. A business process can be modeled in Process Studio either as workflow or a process. A workflow is about moving and transforming rows, whereas process is more about high-level flow control executing workflows, sending mails on failure, and transferring files via FTP. All right, next one, file management. File management feature and menu options, ease of uploading and centrally managing related files for the automation edge. Especially, the main use of this feature is to upload supporting files that are configurable or constantly changing from the automation edge UI and providing the files to its components in a seamless way. Next one, settings. There we are having a lot of settings over here which are related to the SMTP, LDAP, email notification, tenant policy, proxy settings, single sign-on. These will be explained one by one when it is coming to the point of SMTP respective concepts. All right, this is all about the Automation Edge dashboard. There we have seen users, workflows, agents, catalog, requests, logs, reports, consumption, plugin, purging, process studio, file management, and finally we have seen the settings related to the Automation Edge. Thank you for watching Automation Edge tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a good day.